So ladies and gentlemen, when doing a word problem, all right, there's a couple things I want you guys to think about, because you are going to have a word problem on your quiz or your test, which is actually going to be next class period. So when doing a word problem, there's a couple things I want you to ask yourself. First of all, read through the question completely. Then I want you to ask yourself, what is it asking me to figure out? What is it asking me to find? All right. Then the next thing I want you to do is, usually when you're trying to find something, in a word problem, what we're doing is we're trying to create an equation or create a system of equations in this case. So you need to figure out what are your variables going to be that you're going to solve for, right? Because Wendy, you can put your backpack off your desk. When you're solving, that means you want to find the value of a variable. All right. So let's read through this equation or this uh, problem. It says, Priscilla sells stuffed animals at a local craft show. She charges $15 for small ones and $20 for large ones. She sold $350 worth of animals. After the show, she noticed that she sold 20 stuffed animals. How many were small and how many were large? Now, usually the question that you need to solve comes at the end of the problem. So what is it in this problem that we're trying to figure out? We're trying to figure out how many small animals were sold and how many large animals were sold, right? So do we know what either one of those are? No. So let's set up a variable for each one. So it doesn't matter how you want to do it. I'm just going to say, let's have x equal the number of small stuffed animals. And y equals the number of large stuffed animals. Is everybody following me with that logic of thinking right now? You do not need to know how to do any kind of systems of elimination, graphing, all that. Kind of, all you guys need to do is just determine what is the question asking, and then what are your variables that you can set up? So does everybody see I do not know what the large are and I do not know what the small are. So I, what do I do? I assign them variables. And when you guys go and create your word problem, I am going to expect you to, if you're going to be using your variables, I expect you to tell me what those variables represent. All right. So when you're doing your problem, you're going to want to do it just like this. Now, the next thing we need to look at is it says write a system of equations that represents a situation. So first of all, if I, have two if I have two variables, how many equations do I need? Two, two right? right? For every equation or for every variable that you're going to solve for, you have to have an equation. So since I have two variables, I need to create two equations. The other thing that tells me I, knew I need more than one equation is it says write a system. If you guys remember, the definition of a system was when we are solving for two or more equations. So I need to create two or more equations. But before we even get to that, let's just see if we can figure out one, right? Let's not get carried away. So um, I'm going to start. I'm just going to kind of read backwards from my sentences. So we already kind of covered out what we didn't know. The next sentence said, after the show, she noticed that she sold 20 stuffed animals. So do we know how many large or small? No, but we know when we add them together, we get what? How many are sold? 20. Wendy, could you please put your head up? So we know we can write an equation x plus y equals 20. OK? x plus y equals 20. That's one equation. Now, what else other information are we provided for this problem? We're provided that she sold $350 worth of, of animals. That's kind of cool. Um, and she charges $15 for the small ones and 20 for the large. Does anybody have an idea? How can I write an expression for, 50, for charging $15 per small one and $20 for the large? Yes? Plus 20 what? Where? Right. Right. Oh, OK. All right. Multiply by 20. OK. Um, you actually went like kind of a little bit step further than you didn't have to. Did you only have one equation? OK. So what you need to do, rather than multiplying by the 20, which you did, you, you actually want to create a different equation. This is where I'm going to cover the x plus y equals 20. But you're right on track with the 15x and 20y, right? 
Because 15x tells you what, what operation are you doing. 15x and 20y is what? Multiplying, right? So you're multiplying the number that you sell times how much you, make, how much you um, charge for that. So you could say 15x plus 20y. So for every one of these animals that you um, sell, you get $15 for it. So repeated addition, we write as our multiplication, right? Because if you sold one, how much money did you get? $15. If you sold, or so for the small animals. So if you sell one small animal, how much money do you get? 15. If you sell two animals, how many, much money do you get? 30, right? It's repeated addition, which we call, which we go with multiplication. But this amount equals how much did she make? 350. All right? Now the main important thing, now that you kind of know what we're talking about, two equations, now two variables, you know you're going to have to do two equations. So you just want to separate that out, OK? Because um, one is talking about numbers, and the other one's talking about cost. So you're going to want to separate them out. So now, do we have two equations with two variables? We're looking good, right? Can we solve this by either substitution or elimination? Yeah, what would probably be your preferred method? I'd probably like substitution well. And I would probably, I mean, it doesn't matter which one you substitute for. Um, let's uh, let's uh, sub solve for x. So I could say x plus y equals 20. Solve. So I get x equals uh, negative y plus 20. Now let's plug that into the other equation. So 15 times, instead of x, I'm now going to substitute in this value. So I have negative y plus 20 plus 20y equals 350. OK? Distributed property, negative 15y plus 300 plus 20y equals 350. Uh, we can combine our like terms. So we get 5y plus 300 equals 350, subtract 300, 5y equals 50, y equals 10. All right? So now remember, guys, go back up to your original equation. If you know y is 10, what does x have to be? This one's a pretty basic one to do, right? 10. So you could say x is equal to 10. So the last step that I want you to do for your word problem, because a word problem, it's a lot of steps. It's a lot of work to be able to read through this. So what you want to say is, Priscilla, uh, sells 10 large and small stuffed animals. And the reason why we uh, put it back into a word problem is does that make sense in the context of the problem? Our answer, x and y and x don't make sense. But when you say, oh, she sells 10 large and 10, says 10 large and small stuffed animals, does that make sense? Well, if it's into the context of your, of your equations, then yes, that's going to make sense. Okay? And remember, you can always plug these, plug 10, back, 10 in for x and y back into your equation to be able to check your work as well. Anybody have any questions on what I did? No? Everybody feels good and confident and lovely? All right, cool. That's it, ladies and gentlemen.